are something that can help you uh, launch your real estate business or can get you to that 100, 150 past clients, I think quicker than anyone or any other company in the city. Um, so I wanted to spend a few minutes today and I'm gonna go through the different types of leads that we generate and you know what those, you know, just kind of an overview of that. First thing I want to, you know, to really emphasize is that high garden leads are just one spoke on your wheel. They can't be the only spoke. Uh, they could be one spoke, but you know, you really have to look at just like what we talked about, you know, supplementing the high garden leads with open houses, uh, social media, uh, your past client plan. You know, we have a couple agents that are focusing on FISBOs. Um, but you kind of got to find, you know, a, a spoke on the wheel or two or three spokes on the wheel that you can really, you know, maximize. High garden leads can be one, but it should not be your only one. We have a few different types of leads that we call, you know, different leads here at High Garden. We have VIP website leads, which these are probably the most uh, voluminous leads that we get. They're also probably what I want to say top of the funnel type leads. Most of the time, these people are just starting their process or just starting to look for a home. So they could be anywhere from, you know, really days, which is not very often, to months away from purchasing a home. But I'm going to explain through our remarketing and hopefully you guys are staying on top of your hot leads and, you know, all the leads in your database. Uh, those will come to fruition, you know, as your database, as you build up leads in your database. Uh, you know, they're a great option for you. And I'm going to show you what those look like. I'm also going to talk about speed to leads. These are very similar to what you might consider like a Zillow or realtor.com or op city lead. These people are ready to go look at the house. Most of the time um, they're reaching out to us uh, to get more information about a property or to go see a home. We'll go through those two call in leads. We have people that get on our website or find our phone number, maybe on a yard sign or whatever, and call in. So those are live transferred leads to your phone. Um, and those, once again, are usually in the market to buy tomorrow. So then we also offer Op City leads, which we're going to go through that process too. So Op City, these are live lead transfers to your phone. They have a partnership or they actually uh, realtor.com uh, sends all of their leads that get generated through realtor.com through Op City, or most of them anyway. And these are typically ready to go buyers. You know, they're looking to schedule an appointment today, tomorrow, and are ready to buy a house. So these are great leads. Um, there's a couple ca ca caveats that go along with these leads. You'll be responsible to update. Uh, the Op City CRM, uh, in, in addition to the High Garden IMS, but so it's two different CRMs that you would have to manage. There is a 35 to 38 percent referral fee off the top of the commission that goes back to Op City. Um, agents are scored and ranked, so if you start taking Op City leads, you're probably going to see some, you know, some sixty thousand dollar you know, an hour away from your house type of leads. What I can tell you is if you start closing on those leads, you have a couple, three closings under your belt, that price point's gonna start going up. You're gonna get in the 100,000, then 150, and then the 200,000, and you're gonna keep going up. If Op City knows that you can convert these leads, uh, you're gonna start seeing uh, better leads from them. But it is an investment, you know, you have to be committed to it. You get a $60,000 condo downtown, you have to take it. You have to show it and you have to sell it in order to build that pipeline or that trust with Op City. And you'll start seeing better leads. If you're not uh, part of the Op City program and you want to be, um, please reach out to Steve or I. We can get you an invitation to that program and all the training videos that go along with it. So just let us know if that's something you're interested in. The High Garden call-in leads. If we have a lead that's you know looking on our website of the house, we display phone numbers you know all over our website. Those are going to be live you know 
basically somebody's going to be on the phone wanting to ask questions about this house or to schedule a showing. How this works is we ring 15 agents phones at the same time. The first person that answers the phone and presses number one uh, will receive the lead. So you, you get a notification on your phone. Well, it's actually, you're gonna, I'm gonna tell you down at the bottom in the green, the 317-207-0381. You need to program that in your phone as a contact. Take a picture of this screen, write this number down, but make sure you have that number programmed in your phone as a contact. You can label it money, uh, call in lead, whatever is going to get you excited to answer your phone because um, that's the number it'll always be coming in from. The important part to remember about when you receive one of these leads is that as soon as you press one on your phone, you're going to be live with the lead. So you want to immediately introduce yourself. Hello, it's Chris at High Garden. Um, how can I help you? you know, something along those lines, but basically as soon as you press one, you're gonna be connected. If you're not the first person that presses one and you press and you press one, you're gonna hear a recording and saying, this lead's already been taken. Sorry, but better luck next time. The next group of leads I wanna talk about is our speed to leads. Like I said before, these also are gold. Uh, they're just like a Zillow or realtor.com lead. Um, people are actually reaching out to us. They're clicking one of these two buttons, message agent or schedule a tour. And if they click those buttons, you know, they're actively wanting to probably go see a house uh, almost immediately. So uh, those, are, those are great leads. How it works is you're gonna get a notification a text message and it'll be one of two messages. It'll either be this first one where it says, I'm, I'm interested in 9258 Sinbar Drive in Indianapolis. You know, they're just interested in it. A lot of times these people still want to schedule a showing pretty quickly. They or they can actually pick a date and time that they want to go see the house. So the only difference between those two messages, if you look at the one over on the right, it actually says requested a tour Monday, January 20th, between 12 and 12.30 p.m. If you're not available to show them the house exactly at that time on that day, don't click to call or try and accept these leads. This person wants to see the house at 12 o'clock on Monday. That's when we're going to show them the house. If we can't do it, the likelihood is that they're going to find somebody else to do it. So something to pay attention to when you get the speed to leads is, you know, if they actually requested a time to view the house. Hey, Chris. Yeah. On the, uh, Heidi had a question. I think this was about the call in leads. She uh -huh. said, whenever I get these calls, always says client no longer there. That means that another agent has accepted it prior to her. Is there any setting on the phone that will make it quicker that you're aware of? It's just uh, fastest finger. It's the fastest finger. You know, there, there's things that we can't, we can't control. You know, how quickly your phone rings or, it, you know, where you're at, whether you're close to a cell tower or whether you're not. Um, uh, I know in our system, we're sending out that message in, I mean, within microseconds of each other. So when it gets delivered to someone, you know, and how quickly when you hit one, does that get relayed to, you know, everything? It's just, that's kind of out of our hands. And that's why we, that's why we send it out to so many agents at a time, because, you know, we have a live person on the phone we can't risk that person. We have like four seconds before they hang up to find an agent and press one. So, so I guess that's my question. Does it go out <clears throat> to multiple people at the same time? Because I've actually had my phone in my hand when those have called and I've literally pressed one like before because I know the phone number. So I don't like when that phone number comes in, I don't even wait for it to like do anything. I just answer and hit one. Yeah, and that's it, good. And, and it like 99% of the time will say client no longer there. So, and, and I've asked this before, but I, I guess I just, 
you know, my ratio is not improving with doing that. So I guess that's my question. So it's going to everybody all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and that helps me understand. It's, though, 15, that it's 15 agents at the same time. Okay. Okay. It, that I understand then. It, so I, yeah, that I, is going to be all about cell tower and phones and whatever. So uh, it, that's I, luck. <laughs> it, it is luck. It, yeah, it's that's going to be a little bit of luck if you get those then. Okay. Yeah. But that's helpful to know. That's helpful to know because it's, you know, if I can answer fast, great. And, and if I don't, well then. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I, I wish there was a better way to do it, but there's not. I mean, we've been, you know, with calling leads, I mean, we've dealt with them for 15 years now. We've mm -hmm. tried multiple different ways of doing this and the only way this is the only this has been by far the only way that we can 100 percent almost certainly know that we're going to get an agent on the phone with the yeah before they hang up and i i think that's i understand important. the frustration yeah. mm -hmm. but it is there is some luck in the world yeah no and i think it's important to get that person you know an agent like immediately because you've only got a couple of seconds before they're going to be like yeah whatever yeah and they'll call somebody else yeah i got it i got yeah. it but it's i'm glad to have the understanding of of what's happening so thank you yep. okay so the speed the leads you know when people are requesting a time to see a house or they're reaching out to us saying please contact me i want more information on these leads basically these are the goals you should set the appointment when you get on the phone there should be an you should think to yourself this person wants to go see this house so the number one goal is to set an appointment when you get these leads you can ask them a question and pick this right from Zillow training that Shannon does at her office. Um, she's killing it with Zillow, but they also ask what caught your eye? And they're gonna tell you, well, it's in the right school district or it has a basement or it's on a pond or they're gonna tell you what caught their eye about that specific property. And how you're gonna use that information, I'll explain in just a second. But after that, you set the appointment, you ask them what caught their eye and you hang up the phone. This isn't the time to be talking about, you know, financing or, you know, anything else. Once we set the appointment, ask them the question, what caught your eye and get off the phone. And basically, you know, you're ready for an appointment. You can talk to them about financing at the first meeting if you care to do so. But a lot of people get turned off when you start asking, well, are you pre-approved, are you paying cash? You know, how many you know, listings have you looked at so far? You know, basically we just want to set the appointment. Get it set, show the house, and show up. On that first appointment, uh, this is straight off the Zillow slide, an agent is only as good as the listing. So you have to be ready with more options because once they get inside of that house, they're not going to like the, the pink walls in the bathroom or they're not going to like the, the marble floors or something they may not like. You have to be ready with some other options because what's going to happen is they're, you're going to leave that appointment and they're going to go home and they're going to jump back up, back on Zillow or realtor.com or something else and start looking for other homes that match. And you're going to, you're going to be a figment of their imagination at that point. So you have to take more listings with you. Take three or four more options in that general area. That's why you ask the question, what caught, my, what caught your eye? You don't have to schedule all the showings, just have them prepared. And that way you can show them to them, talk to them about it, and maybe schedule your next meeting with them. This is another point that I took away from that Zillow presentation, but it makes total sense. Um, when Steve Bryan and I and some of the others that were selling new homes, you know, we assumed the sale and, you know, you have to do the same thing. You're in that house. You have to tell that person what the next step is. And the next step is writing an offer. Try that. Do it. <laughs> Just mention it while you're in the house. Well, the next step would be to write an offer. 
most people don't know that. They don't know what the next step is. So anybody have any questions about, about any of that or have anything to add? Or? Okay. So staying on the speed to leads, this might confuse some people until you see it a few times. Once you take a speed to lead and you, you're on the phone with them or you make the call, when you hang your phone up, High Garden is going to send you another text message. And it's basically got three options on it for you. So let's say that you took a speed to lead and you got a voicemail. They did not answer the phone. And this is imperative. You know, when you hang up your phone, you send this text. Sorry I missed you. One, two, three, four, Windsor Drive is still available. How can I help? And if you just click that link, it automatically gets sent on your behalf to the lead, you know, just really quickly. Let's say that you did have a conversation with the lead. You, know, you could send this next text. Great chatting with you. Just wanted you to have my contact information. You just click that link down there at the bottom of that text, and that text will go out on your behalf. Or if you need to send a confirmation of your appointment, or you want to type something special out to the lead, you know, you can type and you can go down to this third one where if you click on that link, it opens up a text message box from the IMS and you can type in a, a custom text message. Does anybody, does that make sense to everyone, I hope? Okay, and lastly, or I think lastly, is High Garden VIP leads. These are the top of the funnel feed, you know, leads that we generate quite a few of that come through the lead router where you have an option to you know, skip it, take it, or basically ignore it. And how this works is when people are on our website, they can look at a house and if they haven't already registered, we're gonna ask them to register as a VIP lead. The first step is we capture their email. It's a two-step lead process, basically. And the next step, we're gonna ask them, are you considering a move? And then the options are, no, I'm just browsing, or yes, I'm ready to move, or I forget the other one. Uh, it's considering a move, I'm ready to move, or I'm just browsing. And you're gonna know the answer, how they answered this question in the lead opportunity. So when you're making a decision whether you want to take the lead or you don't want to take the lead, you know, you can see how they answered that question. You know, if, if somebody says, no, I'm just browsing, but it's a $400,000 Fisher's lead, you specialize in Fisher's and you want that lead, you know, you can use that information, you know, on how you talk to the lead first. You know, you might start with, you know, I'm here to help when time's right for you versus somebody that says, no, I'm ready to move, you can get right into, you know, the four questions and, and everything we teach here to, you know, try and move that person into, you know, down the funnel a little further. Prospecting pool is another way that we provide leads to everyone. Uh, this is a 24-7 button that you press uh, that pulls up basically three leads out of the prospecting pool, gives you a choice of which one to call. And you just click that call button. Um, we have agents, you know, one of our most successful agents, this is a spoke on his wheel. I mean, he literally calls a few thousand and he clicks that call button a few thousand times a week. But he's also sold like 18 homes this year out of this prospecting pool. That would be mind numbing for me. I couldn't do that. I could do it maybe for a half hour a day, which I would encourage any of you that, especially if you're just starting and you don't have your scripts down yet, you know, this is a great way to practice. And you might get lucky and find a good lead in there that's ready to go buy a house. Um, so that's another way that we provide leads to our agents. I wanna to talk, to, talk real quickly about some quick scripts to use when you're calling a VIP lead or you get a hold of somebody in the prospecting pool, or maybe it's a lead on your hot list. One of my biggest pet peeves that, that I hear a lot is, let's say that I'm calling uh, a lady named Pamela. 
you know, I hit click the call button and a female answers the phone. I don't want to start out the conversation by saying, I'm looking for Pamela. Or can I speak to Pamela when a female answers the phone? So if some, if you answer the phone, if you get a phone call and somebody says, can I speak to Jeff? Jeff's like probably thinking to himself, I wonder who this is. Is it a bill collector? Is it, you know, they don't know me, obviously. Uh, so you want to assume that Jeff answers the phone. If you're calling Jeff and a male voice picks up, you know, assume that that's Jeff and get right into it. Hey, Jeff, it's Chris at Highgarden. How are you today? You know, bam. Instead of saying, can I speak to Jeff or I'm, this is terrible. I'm looking for Jeff is just terrible. But anyway. Here are some things that I put together from Kyle and Jeff's training. Um, also, I think Ryan Herget used to use these. Uh, but take a screenshot of this or ask Jeff or Kyle for this for these scripts. Um, you know, because these are critical. You know, if you're ever on the phone and you're running out of things to say or you're not sure where the conversation's going, you can quickly ask one of these four questions at the top and keep the conversation going. Even if the person says, I'm just browsing, you know, is there anything affecting your time frame? What's the main reason you're considering a move? Tell me, what have you accomplished so far with your home search? You know, so these are some great questions that work great for the VIP leads, the prospecting pool, and the hot leads. Not so much for the speed, the leads, or the call in leads. You know, those, the goal is we want to set an appointment ASAP. We talk a lot about lead remarketing and, you know, and we talk about VIP leads, for example, the top of the funnel leads, the ones that we generate the most of. Why would you want to take any of those if they are six months out? This is the reason because you want to build up your database full of leads and then we're going to remarket to these people over and over and over again on your behalf to get them to come back to our website. We want those leads to stay in our ecosystem. We don't want them out there on Zillow or Realtor.com or some other one of our competitors' websites. So we do a ton of remarketing through Facebook, Instagram, uh, Google, pay-per-click. So we can keep those people on our website. And then we show them houses in their Facebook feed, and then they click on them and come back to our website. Another thing from Zillow, and I don't know if this number is right, I think it was 20-something. But in Zillow's studies, they're seeing that people will come back to Zillow 26 times before they click that message agent or schedule a tour button. So we have to keep them back on our site. So the more leads you have in your system, the more chances you're going to have at somebody, you know, reaching out to you with a message or to schedule a tour or, you know, hopefully show up on your hot list. We also have the capabilities of importing any of your sphere, any of your leads that you have, or if you're buying leads from Zillow or Real Geeks or Truly or Chime or Realtor.com, uh, we have the ability to automatically put those into the IMS on your behalf. And that's a major benefit because once they get in there, we're remarketing to them constantly. We want to keep them in our ecosystem. If you have a lead, you don't want that lead to you know, go out to Zillow or Realtor.com and start using that site and registering 14 agents. We want to keep them in our ecosystem. So we have that ability to do that. If you have a lead source that isn't getting imported into uh, the IMS, uh, let us know. We'll research it. Uh, you know, if the volume is halfway decent, we can get it right into our, our IMS. One thing we don't talk a lot about uh, that I think we need to talk more about is the lead scoring or the hot list. Uh, as you know, most some of you know that my wife has uh, part-time ISA, you know, monitoring the hot list of all the company leads that we've generated and given to our agent. And I think on Friday morning there were 193 leads on the hot list in our agents' databases that have not been touched in the last 72 hours. 
So it means it's been on your hot list for three days. And nobody's, there's 190 of these. These leads converge. If you talk to a lead on your hot list, about 30 times better than just any other normal lead in your database. This lead scoring works, but you actually have to put some effort behind it. You know, sending an email or a generic email isn't quite enough. You need to actually contact these people when they're on your hot list. Yes, are there going to be some leads that show up on your hot list that you know are two years out or, you know, just filed bankruptcy or whatever? Probably there might be a few of those. You don't need to mess with those, but there's going to be some on your hot list that you're going to be like, wow, they looked at this house for the fourth time this year. They're on my hot list. I need to probably reach out to them and see what's up. You know, so um, I can't stress that enough. You know, if you're taking this job seriously and you're taking our leads seriously, uh, you have to you have to pay attention to the hot list. The rest of the leads in your database, you know, our remarketing will work. It'll get them. You know, if they're interested at all, they're going to show up on your hot list at some point. But you have to work with hot list leads. Um, there's just too much money there for you. It's a, it's a great opportunity. So, if you have any questions about the hot list, working the IMS leads and the scripts, obviously we have Jeff and Kyle, myself, Steve, Brian, a lot of resources here at High Garden to help you. Uh, but those are, you know, that's that's kind of the overview of all of our company lead opportunities. We have VIP leads, we have speed leads, we have call-in leads, we have off-city opportunities, um, you know, we score every lead every day, try and get, put those, get the best ones on your hot list every day. Uh, but again, that being said, um, it's just one spoke on the wheel. You know, you should maybe take an hour or two a day, work the prospecting pool, work your hot leads, take a few new leads from High Garden, but the rest of your day, you have to be thinking about, okay, Am I going to be doing an open house this week? How do I need to get prepared? You know, how do I need to practice my open house script? So if I'm having an open house and somebody walks through that door, what am I going to say to them? How am I going to get their phone number, their email? You know, do I have other homes in the area that show? Put some thought into it. Maybe it's your past client plan. Maybe it's your social media plan. You just have to have a few more a few a few more spokes than just the high garden leads in order to really drive uh, in this, this business. So I'd be happy to uh, take any questions that anybody has. Okay. I would say one one comment um, without a doubt, clearing the hot list. Kyle always talks about what different things have added to his business. I would think my first year of taking high garden leads when the hot list came into existence, clearing that hot list was probably worth $70,000 to me. Just, just that one, just getting in touch with those people that the system ranked and calling them. And I know that, that we, we kind of struggle sometimes with the phone, but I don't think anything, even now, if they're on that hot list, I don't think anything can trump calling people. Try to get them on the phone with, without a doubt. Text is great, but if you can get them on the phone looking at a house when they're on that hot list and also open houses, um, if you can get people at an open house to go out and look at other homes with you, there's nothing better. And we're going to set it up um, so there's basically role playing, whatever you need. If you know, if you want to work on your open house script, your phone script, any of that, it's going to be available Tuesday through Thursday from nine to eleven, and then from nine to twelve Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Kyle and I are going to be prospecting. So that could be calling your sphere of influence. I mean, Kyle is very good at talking to his sphere of influence. So if you're struggling with that, just reach out, get with me, get with Kyle. And just come in. The more you do this, the easier it gets, without a doubt. And I've made thousands of calls, and no one has ever slapped me through the phone. I've had them yell at me. I've had them hang up, but they've never left the mark. 
Well, I have some emotional scars, but no physical, no physical injuries yet. So other than that, I would say, I mean, I, I can't imagine another brokerage has this technology. This is literally like having a Ferrari in your garage and not driving it. This technology is, is unique to the industry. Um, Kara asked again, what basically Kara, I think it's what times again, Jeff, are you and Kyle, you're doing the calls between 11 and noon, the prospecting group prospecting 11 to noon. And and Kyle, I was thinking we're going to do that. We can do that Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 11 to 12. And if we need to, we can break out into separate rooms or do it as a group. However we want to do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing it every day. So Kyle's doing it every day. 11 to noon. 11 to noon. Monday, I'm going to work on with people with the IMS. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the role playing from 9 to 11. And then from 11 to 12, I'll also do the prospecting. If we find out it's better as a group, Kyle and I together, or if we want to split out, either way. But we'll do a round table. We'll get leads. I mean, and, and open houses. Join, join me, join Kyle. Join an experienced agent if you don't feel comfortable. Then let's just come in here. We'll treat this office like a home. And I'll walk in and we'll just role play the open house. And you'll get real comfortable real quick. And it'll make a lot of money. It will. Uh, Robin, does anybody else have any question about the, about the lead? Or, you know? No, but I wanted to share that due to my multiple personality disorder, you'll hear me prospect as Elmer Fudd, uh, Baby Huey, a lot of different profiles. So you'll learn even personality uh, profiles. G Daddy. Mm -hmm. G -daddy. He's so sad we don't I'll have make more videos call on. G Daddy too. Kyle, he or Chris, he finally got you to say it. <laughs> for the last one to break down, you 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 broke my heart, Chris. Yeah, yeah. you but, broke but, but, my heart. I thought you would hold out. Yeah, I tried. It's over with now. Ugh. All right, but come in, please. Yes, it's fun. Eleven o'clock to noon every day. You can make some money. I am. And you don't have to be Kyle to make money on the phone. Believe me. No. Nope. You can be Elmer Fudd, Tweety Bird, any of them. I'm sad we don't have more videos on so we couldn't see all the shaking of everybody's head when you're talking, Kyle. <laughs> um, speaking of making things easy, we're continuing to try to make our jobs as agents more easy for you guys. We have rolled out the templates. Um, I'll have a video over to you soon on the webinars that we did. So that way, if you don't want to request them through a Rouge and you want to try to do them on your own, you have that webinar to kind of um, go through and use as a resource on how to do that through Canva. It's free to do that. Um, so we'll have that out. But also Arouge is now sending a um, prompted active pending and sold post for you. So when you have an active home, an active listing, a pended um, home or a sold home, you will get a re um, an email from Arouge as soon as possible um, with a post that is personalized to you has High Garden's logo and a picture of the home sent automatically to you. You're going to get a post and a story so you can use that. So we're trying to make it easier for you guys and more um, timely so you just have that at your fingertips. There are some parameters so that Rouge is not working 24-7. So we're going to be sending those out Monday through Friday between 8.30 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. So if it's on the weekend, we'll get that to you first thing Monday morning. Hey, uh, Robin. But, yeah. Um, I just want to show everybody what this kind of looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but Arouge sent one. Ryan Radecki had a pended uh, property this, this morning, and uh, Arouge whipped one of these out, and he had it, you know, right, right on, right onto his timeline. So right there it is. That's kind of what they look like. But there's different versions, so uh, Arouge will just be picking one, and, you know, sending you a graphic, so you can easily post it to your social media. Yep, and Kara, I think you said, um, does this include Fisher's office? It does. So we'll be sending that out. 
Um, I am unable to scroll on the chat to see if we have other questions on that. Can anyone uh, else read those? I'm not seeing it. Yeah, Brian has one. Are there Facebook cover photo templates? Um, those are being developed right now. We should have those shortly for you guys, like three or four yep. different ones to choose from. Um, so those are coming. Yes. In addition, we are having a photographer come in on the first and third Wednesday of every month to do one professional photo for you guys outside the building. It looks great. I'm going to send that out today for um, Fantasia got hers done by Belinda. And um, I'm going to send like a um, kind of a sample photo of what you can expect. Um, it's free to you as an agent. So if you want to come in um, to do your photo, just let us know so we know how many people to expect. The first session will be this week, the 17th at 1130 a.m. So I'll send that out. Um, so yeah, it's free to you. You can come in, get a um, free headshot that you can use on your photos, sign, social media, all those things. And it looks amazing. So um, we're excited for that too. So lots of yeah. exciting things rolling out for you guys. I'd really appreciate if everybody would take advantage of that, that headshot. You know, our goal is to, is to get all of our agents on our website uh, and have consistent photos just makes the brand look makes you guys look good and it makes the brand look great too so you know when you have uh you know when you have 10 people that have beautiful headshots and then the next one is you know the the picture of you know a person standing 30 feet away you know petting his horse or something um, it doesn't quite represent you or the brand the way we want it to be represented Hopefully everybody can take advantage of that. And that's it on my part. All right. Anything else? Thank you everyone for joining us and have, I hope everybody has an awesome week. Um, market's still on fire. See you later. Thanks everybody.